Terrell, his name is Daniel Goldwyn, and he works for the Jewish United Fund out of Chicago. He says everyone in Israel has been waiting on pins and needles as the conflict continues. Meanwhile, a senior U.S. official says Israel's strike against Iran was limited and just meant to send a message. In video posted online, flashes in the sky show Iran's air defense in action. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News Israeli missiles hit a site in Iran. The United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Iranian state media reports an explosion was heard not far from a major military base and nuclear facility, adding the nuclear facility was not damaged. State media downplaying the attack, reporting everything is back to normal. That seems to indicate that Iran is seeking to step down off the ledge, minimize uh, the uh, impact of the attack. Uh, and perhaps walk back down the escal escalation ladder from here. The White House has been urging Israel to show restraint in hopes of preventing a larger war, saying if Israel did strike, they would do so alone. Dan Goldwyn is with the Jewish United Fund in Chicago. He's in Jerusalem and says Israel has shown restraint. The message is clear. We got in. You didn't know we were coming. You couldn't stop us. We can hit your nuclear sites if we want to, but we didn't. Israel's retaliation comes five days after Iran fired more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel, nearly all of which were intercepted and downed with the help of the U.S. Goldwyn saying the U.S. remains Israel's greatest and closest friend. The incredible coordination that happened last Saturday when Iran launched those 330 uh, cruise missiles, drones, and ICBMs uh, at Israel all happened because of coordination the United States put into place. A senior White House official says it currently looks calm in Iran and there is no sign they are ramping up. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.